mean, I was a sergeant of a sniper's team, and one of the routine missions that we carried out uh, in Nablus, in Janine, or in the, in the surrounding areas of those two cities um, was a mission that we called a straw widow. A straw widow was when you take over a Palestinian home. Every house in the West Bank actually has a number. Each and every house has a number. So we would open up the maps and look at the specific house that uh, looked into the right place that we had to enter. Um, and after we would verify that the house has the best parameters, windows, and geographical area, we made sure the people in the house were innocent. So you, we, we would enter a house of an innocent Palestinian home in the middle of the night. Say that what uh, uh, motivated me eventually to break my silence was the piercing eyes of young Palestinians when I was barging into their house in the middle of the night. I could always justify it to myself, but those eyes, the anger, their fear, uh, was what eventually helped me overcome that. The problem is the idea of controlling millions of people by force indefinitely. And that's where the state of Israel is going. That's where the government is actually taking us, an indefinite military occupation. The Israeli occupation, I think, has built in the mindset of the Israeli society a false equation that basically says it's a zero-sum game. It's either us or them. And in order for us to feel secure, they have to feel insecure. So the mission is control. The symptom is exactly what you talked about. Now those symptoms will not disappear until we end occupation.